Hello everyone and welcome to Jeunesse Longevity TV. Welcome to this new series focused on the Luminous range of product, the Luminous series. Before showing you the Luminous collection, I would like to talk to you about your skin and the importance of skin care. Two square meters. That is the total surface area of our skin. And it is our body's largest organ. And also, it's heaviest, weighting between three and four kilo for adults. It's also regenerate the fastest every day. 30,000 cells die and are immediately replaced. Our skin is entirely regenerated in 21 days. Our skin is an amazing precise piece of machin machinery. It consists of three successive layers, each with specific functions. The epidermis, the dermis, and the hypodermis. The epidermis is almost waterproof which is as it should be. If this was not the case, we will drown by taking a bath. It mainly contains melanin, a pigment which protects the skin from the sun's rays, formed by a special type of cells called keratinocytes, which release a sort of semen, forming a barrier at the skin surface. The dermis is found in between the epidermis and the apodermis. It is irrigated by blood and the dermis feeds the epidermis. It is responsible for the skin's elasticity and flexibility thanks to elastin fibers and its durability thanks to collagen fiber. It also contains aminoglycan, which act as sponge, allowing the skin to retain water. The hypodermis is the deepest layer of the skin. It contains adipocytes, which store fat, making the hypodermis an energy reserve. It is therefore a heat source a shock absorber and protect us from the cold by insulating us. Our skin is a very resilient organ, capable of regenerating itself and of healing itself by producing scar, scar tissues. It is represent our organism's first line of defense against external aggression. It protects it from chemical attacks, solvent, detergent, and physical attacks such as heat, cold, or humidity. It also protects us from microbes. Our skin also contains our sweat glands, which secrete sweat when our body is too hot. Sweat cools 
our body down by evaporating from the surface of our skin. Our skin also mirrors our mood, getting goosebumps when we are afraid or blushing when we feel intimidated. Our skin also allows us to perceive our surrounding through touch, thanks to the nerve endings which is contained. Its sensitivity tells us about the temperature and warns us about pain and friction. Normal skin requires delicate hygiene product with respect it and clean it gently, preserving its radiant health. Even in this kind of skin has no deficiency in need of revitalization, it must be clean, protected, and moisturizer on a daily basis. Skin changes with age. At birth, our skin is not yet mature. It is fragile and still building itself. It therefore easily becomes dehydrated. With time, it will acquire its final structure. During puberty, with the increase in hormonal activity, our skin may secrete an excessive amount of sebum. This is why the skin in many teenagers has a shiny and oily appearance. A woman's body transforms during the nine months of pregnancy and her skin will have to demonstrate its elasticity in full. Stretch mark may appear. The skin stretches very quickly and the collagen fibers tear. During menopause, starting around 50 years old, the skin thins, become drier, and appear more wrinkly. Age spots may appear. The skin also lo lost some of its elasticity and malleability. But the season have also an influence on your skin. Winter, in particular, is a strain on your skin. It will dehydrate it. Failing temperature reduces the skin sebum production. It becomes dry and fragile. The first to suffer from winter is the skin on your hands and on your face. Spring is a turning point between the dry cold and the warmth of summer. Our skin can breathe and take in the sun. Yet spring is also when pollen and allergies appear and they can be a source of irritation. When summer arrives, our skin is radiant and revitalized by the sun. But we must be careful. The sun is shining and flooding, flooding us with its UV UV rays. Our skin also tends to dry more easily. It might become dehydrated and crack. Just as for spring, fall is a turning point. Our skin is getting ready to take on winter. It is once more subjected to constant friction. Now, how do wrinkles appear? They develop in the dermis as well as the, in the epidermis. They always become, become with a reduction of the epidermis ability to retain water, which leads to very fine wrinkling. At the same time, the hypodermis fatty layer gradually disappear, which lead to larger wrinkles. Finally, the dermis is affected. Elastin and collagen fibers become rare, and the skin lost its bounce. The skin begins to sag and wrinkle form everywhere. 
how should we take care of our skin? Skin care starts with cleaning. In order not to attack the skin and respect its delicate balance, make sure to use a physiological cleanser with, which is specially formulated to take gentle care of your epidermis. The skin is directly surrounding the eyes, is 10 times thinner than that of the rest of the face. To cleanse it, select a very gentle product. Once or twice a week, make sure to also use an appropriate scrub. It should be both effective and gentle and respectful of the skin. The dermis is 70% water, the epidermis 15% only. In order to maintain proper hydration, it is therefore important to choose daily hydrating care product which help to balance the water levels within the skin. No matter the season, select a daily care regimen which includes sunscreen. This will mitigate the detrimental effect of the sun, which accelerates skin aging. As long as you feel the need, use a lip repair bowl. Reapply it as often as you deem necessary. Finally, remember to nourish your skin at night by offering it all of the nutritional element which it needs with a good night cream. You know how, you know have all of the necessary information to make proper use of our skin product line, Luminous. See you in the next episode of the Luminous series. Bye-bye.